Well, until full release. Oh, I got you. So this, okay. Now, even just that's clean, bro. Look how clean the main menu is, bro. I want more tiles. I want you to raise my power level. I want new outfits. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Grade eight Vegeta. <laughs> did you buy the most expensive one, Colby, or did just the second expensive one, the deluxe? Now, for Luke, over boards a spaceship Bulma's father is prepared for him to set off the planet Namek. On the spaceship, Goku continues his training. Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, makes his appearance on planet Namek in search of the Dragon Balls. The most expensive. He can make it! I dropped the bag on this game. Yeah, I feel that, bro. I actually, uh. We funded Black Ops 6 for this game. <laughs> Raccoon! Raccoon! Baby! <laughs> Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. <laughs> okay. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This Bertha. is a raccoon with a lucky shot. A raccoon. Let's, let's go. Yeah. I got 1v2, thing, motherfuckers. Gotta go drive the work? Oh, no. Stop it. Why am I falling still? I don't understand. Oh, I missed. Your energy with me. For a spirit bomb. Done. This'll end it. Crush that bowl. I'm getting excited. Dude, why don't I miss my Kyle Ken every time? <laughs> 15,000 Zenny? That's crazy. Zenny on there? <laughs> Oh, good. 
swiftly overpowers two members of the Jinyu Force. Another manages to escape, but Goku has more than demonstrated the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Ball from Gohan and the others, but before they can take action, Goku senses a strong tie headed in the direction of Garu. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls while he reads himself once more. It's time to form the put an end to Captain Ginyu. So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? It's not unheard of. Either way, to think I... So, are we gonna dance? Are we gonna dance or what? <laughs> Have fun, Kakarot! Katita! Oh my god. Gotcha. Oh my god, he just fucking... Oh my god. Oh, I'm getting pissed on. Oh my god. Bless you. Dude, I am getting my ass kicked. Holy fuck. unbelievable yeah I think I'll take it what do you mean by that what do you mean by that change now and then Captain Ginyu begins chuckling then he lets out his defeating scream so he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now, in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to his spaceship with his subordinate. Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but is hindered, trapped in the Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Saying that Butler has lost his fight, Vegeta Ruthless puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! <laughs> now it's time to finish the ch- Now die! Oh, change now! Please let this work! <laughs> My bodies. Bastard! I'm back to being what? What the hell is 
hell's going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh... Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh! Uh, uh. Let's get you playing Goku throws a frog between Captain and a Vegeta. What in the world? <laughs> Wait. That was a close one. Goku. Side of a frog and Goku is saved. Oh, but you know this sentimental power from the opponent. Oh, that far exceeds their own. Goku Shreeman finishes and he is fully here. Just a little bit longer. That freezes hands. I'm begging you, please beat him for me for the pride of our race. For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! And I would just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. Go on! Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Yes, sir. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I kill you. Yes. Whoa! Yeah, what are you? Come on. Whoa. I'm not done yet. Fuck, dude.
I don't know if I've ever felt this Why the fuck am I stunned? Oh now my god. I need to decide how I kill you. I didn't hit it. I don't know if I'll survive this one. Okay, Spirit Bone is finally brought into the long and hard fought battle. At least our heroes can rest, or so they think until. No, it, it can't be. Freeze us alive! No. Please. Echo I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home. I think the brat should go next. You, you, ruthless, heartless bastard! Go, take Piccolo with you and get out of here now. Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go. But, 
Do as I tell you right now, before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! Finally. Overcoming the pure rage and seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforms into a legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body can survive even in the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy planet Nimic in its entirety. With five minutes left into planet Nimic's extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down there? Quit standing around and finish him. This is our one chance. It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. What, what, what did you just say? Goku, listen to yourself. You're out of your mind! Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! And Frieza took him from me! He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now! 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best! No regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. Oh no. Why? <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. 
Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why. Which is why. <laughs> After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from crumbling remains of planet Namek. But the spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by the Jin Force, and with that, safely but narrowly escapes planet Namek. Yet the pod is not headed for Earth, it's destined for planet Yardar. Yardrat. And Goku learns a new technique. Custom Battle 3 cuts Goku. Enjoyed and so hard. What difficulty am I on? Battle Zoom has been returned to default. Secondary clear conditions can now be met. Please note that the change to those applies to all episode battles. Nice! Future Trunks, my boy! One year has passed since the Battle of the Frieza on planet Namek. Or not Future Trunks, but Frieza. Frieza has survived and comes to Earth. <laughs> However, Mr. Young Man suddenly appears before him. <laughs> the Young Man that transforms into Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku is on planet Yadrat. After he escapes from planet Namek, he returns to Earth. He tells Goku that his name is Trunks, and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently, in the future, Trunks' friends have been murdered, and Goku has died of a heart virus. So he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. After telling Goku that he'll come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his own time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his friends to alert the coming catastrophic features. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds... Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm going to head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you know androids don't run out of energy like that. I swear, you're the naggiest sibling in the world. They're putting up a much better fight now. Must have really got their head back in the game. Maybe from watching me against 18. Gotta say, Goku, you're as impressive a martial artist as the doctor said. That, and you're not nearly as annoying as that hothead, Vegeta. You kept your cool throughout that whole fight with 18, too. Making an android with unlimited energy sweat is quite an accomplishment. I've never had more fun. Back to back fights, bro. Holy moly. It's one of them 18 can train a minute. Oh my god, bro. These are so much better than her. Get up.
like that. Only let my guard down for a second, but you're something else. Nice, bro. Nice. Realizing he can't defeat Goku, Andrew 17 lowers his guard. However, his expression seems somewhat pleased. 17, who had researched for Goku? As if our game feels like he has had enough fun for the fight. I think I'm a little burnt out on all the fighting today. Let's get out of here. Those are Andrew 17 words, Andrew 16 and 18. Remains with the as he stares at Goku. What's the deal? We going or what? He's got to fight him, too. Sixteen. What got into you all of a sudden? You look pissed. My mission is to kill Goku. And I intend to accomplish it. Dude, chill. I will end your existence. For it is the only purpose of my existence. Everyone and everything else is secondary. <clears throat> then it's now or never. Take this. Yeah. Oh, oh, I fucked it up twice. This is fuck. Really? Oh, come on. Disengaging limiter. I must use my last resort. No. Seventeen and eighteen. Farewell. Did I just lose again? I lost again. Oh, what the? Thanks. What up, Colby? You at work now? I did the whole training and I like forgot half the fucking buttons. Like I don't know how to stop myself from falling so much. Oh my goodness. Get off me! Jesus Christ, brother. This one was a shit one. Seventeen. Have you done the uh androids yet? Are you still quick? No, I'm not. Yeah. 
Whoa! Dude, how do I do that? You just beat Frieza? Yeah. Are you just gonna stay down there? What's going on? Is he stuck? Let's see how this goes. Hit him. Please hit him. Did I, just die? I just died again. Am I supposed to not go near him? And eighteen. Farewell. Am I not supposed to go near him? Is that why he's just laying there? Don't go near him, bro. He's just fucking grunting. And he's just waiting for me to come. I mean, I'll just keep doing this. It's fine. I, I hit. I missed. I didn't even hit him. I mean, coming on me, how is gonna have to do to fucking kill this guy? You're enough.
Oh, he almost got me. You're not fast enough, big boy. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this one more time. Peace. It all comes down to this. Don't you dare, 16. I'm not letting you blow yourself up. <sighs> Don't tell me. You have a self destruct device inside of you as well? I. I told you both before. My sole mission is to kill Goku at any cost. Then why haven't you already? You could wipe this entire island off the map with that explosion. <clears throat> That's enough! You can't beat me in the state you're in now. <clears throat> and besides, you don't really seem like a bad guy. Even if you're technically a robot, I could feel your intent to kill. But if it really is your mission, why didn't you go for it during the fight with Cell? Instead, you chose to defend your fellow androids, which means... It's simple. There is much wildlife living all around this island. I did not want to obstruct nature with the fallout of our battles. But hear me, Goku. One day I will fulfill my purpose. One day I will. Not to harm any innocent life. Animal nor human. I believe you are both good people. I have enjoyed traveling together. Well, who says we can't still keep doing it? Then you know what? Let's have our first stop by the mall. I'm in desperate need of some new, less filthy clothes. <laughs> it looks like the battle is over. Hey, Piccolo's alive. Yep. Goku! We're so Goku! And the androids! And, uh... 18 you uh, you didn't defeat them all already did you well i think they'll be back huh? <laughs> <laughs> in the wake of cells defeat the three androids depart peace is once again restored thanks to goku and his friends someday these powerful artificial humans may show their faces again but when they do will they be friend or foe. Whatever the outcome, Goku is sure to be stronger than ever and ready to defend the world. Yo, the narrator row? Alright guys, that is the end of this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Much love, much respect. As always, 